हेलो ऑल माई डियर फॉलोअर्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सी लेजेंड होप माई प्रीवियस वीडियो डिटेलिंग द कम्प्लीट डी कप जॉब ऑन एम इंजन्स हैव हेल्प यू क्लेरिफाई योर डाउट्स एंड नाउ यू कैन परफॉर्म द टास्क स्मूथली आई एम ट्रूली थैंकफुल एंड डू अप्रिशिएट द प्रेजिंग कमेंट्स फ्रॉम योर एंड ऑल योर कमेंट्स डू मोटिवेट मी टू गो फॉरवर्ड विद द न्यू टॉपिक्स फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो I'll be covering the most crucial part on marine engines that is the cylinder lubrication although the said topic is vast and practically very difficult to cover it in one go I'll try to emphasize on the main points an engineer should be aware of so let's get started For all the two-stroke engines, the cylinder oil used for lubrication is an essential factor needed to be taken care of. Today's cylinder oils are made with a complex chemistry, and individual feed rate must therefore be assessed for each oil brand, viscosity, and the BN level. A cylinder oil is blended to achieve the necessary level of detergency to keep the piston rings and the crown clean, and the necessary base number. to neutralize the acids formed during combustion the cylinder oil is also designed to control the degree of corrosion on the liner surface the emi engines loop control system provides the operational monitoring and control of the cylinder lubrication both the mops a and b displays the details for the cylinder lubrication on the sub page under auxiliary's main navigator friends we'll discuss on each of these displayed parameters Let's begin with the first point flow. The flow display shows the ordered lube oil amount in liters per hour. This amount is based on the ordered numbers of lubrication stroke and displaced amount per stroke and same varies corresponding to the RPM set point. Next one is the total. The total display shows the total ordered amount of lubricating oil used. Pressing this display opens a toolbar. with an option to reset to zero basically the display is used to calculate the daily noon to noon consumption of the cylinder oil next is the pre loop as you all are aware during preparation of starting the engine the crankshaft needs to be turned at least one revolution using turning gear once the turning of the engine is commenced you need to press this pre loop button and switch on pre lubrication in the toolbar at the bottom of the screen this triggers the pre lubrication on all cylinders and verifies the feedback signal from the lubricator is functioning properly during this process each cylinder lubricator is activated 12 times at the fastest possible speed moving to the next parameter is the lcd LCD stands for load change dependent and is a method of increasing cylinder lube oil injection for short time periods especially during maneuvering and engine start stop movements due to the sudden load changes at these moments causes thermal instability in the cylinder resulting high risk of frictional wear and also corrosion increased injection of oil is desired at these times to neutralize acid build up and reduce friction always keep the LCD enabled at all times Next one activating the display sulfur percent enables adjustment of the sulfur content equal to the sulfur content of the fuel oil used engineers must need to enter this sulfur percent value every time you switch to new bunkers and when the new fuel is put in use the input value of the sulfur content is one of the parameter to calculate the basic feed rate which i'll explain in the upcoming section The next one is breakpoint. The ME engine's cylinder lubrication system is programmed to function in two modes: the RPM dependent and the load dependent. A change between these two modes is decided by the engine current fuel index. Now if the fuel index is below the breakpoint value, the RPM lubrication mode is on and a low load will be displayed in the actual feed rate field. 
when the fuel index is above the breakpoint value then the load lubrication algorithm is used ultimately the breakpoint is set in fuel index percentage guys the next three points fit rate factor basic fit rate and minimum fit rate are very important and correlated with each other so please listen carefully first and foremost never change the settings prior consulting with your head office in charge The basic fit rate indicator is a calculated rate for the complete lubrication system in grams per kilowatt hour. Basic fit rate is equal to sulfur percent into the fit rate factor. So the fit rate factor is one of the variables deciding the actual dose of the cylinder oil to the engines. In order to obtain an optimal cylinder oil fit rate, a swift test procedure is conducted which I'll explain in detail in my upcoming videos friends this is a very important point the minimum fit rate value is always set such that the actual cylinder oil dose quantity will never drop below this set value so in our case as per mentioned earlier formula the sulfur percent into the fit rate factor the basic fit rate theoretically has to be 0.2 grams per kilowatt hour but when the calculated value of the basic fit rate is less than the minimum fit rate the minimum fit rate value is applied as the basic fit rate now the actual fit rate indicators and the bar graphs per cylinder show the actual cylinder dose for each individual unit basically the actual fit rate is equal to the basic fit rate into the fit rate adjustment factor the fit rate adjustment factor is usually set at value 1 guys while dealing with the micro seizer problems on the liner surfaces which is the result of local oil film breakdown you need to increase the oil dose to the affected unit this is done by increasing the value of the fit rate adjusting factor Here you can see the actual fit rate dose for cylinder number 1 is increased and equal to the fit rate factor into the basic fit rate. Next parameter is the running in. All the two stroke engines require extra attention and lubrication during their first running hours. The first 500 hours are the most demanding. This is the period where the liners are run in which is also referred to as the breaking in period. Always follow the maker's initial running in dose settings during this period. The last one is the lubricator test sequence. This feature is used after the repairs on the cylinder lubricators is carried out, thus enabling the engineer to manually check the lubricators for proper operation. Friends, a frequent scavenge point inspection of the piston rings and the cylinder liners are very important for maintaining a safe cylinder condition. If abnormalities are observed, adjustments of the lube oil fit rate should be considered. Prior coming to the end of this topic, I would always recommend to consult with your superintendent in charge before any lubrication settings are to be changed. Thank you for watching this video. Wishing you all a safe seas and a healthy stay on board. Hope to see you back on my channel to learn something new.